Welcome, everybody, to the NFL Draft Geek Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes, and on this episode, we're going to take a look at North Texas quarterback Mason Fine and kind of highlight some of the different plays that illustrate the type of prospect that Mason Fine is. Uh, you know, here's a guy that uh, has exploded the last two years as North Texas' his program has can been continued to build under Seth Luttrell. Uh, and he's definitely a guy that's on the NFL radar, at least on my radar. So as I said, I'm going to go through about six or seven clips here just to kind of show what I've seen on tape to kind of highlight the type of prospect that Mason Fine is. All right, one of the big traits that I see, the, the biggest strength that is Mason Fine's game is his ability to throw with the anticipation. He doesn't have the biggest arm. He's not going to throw the ball 60, 70 yards down the field, uh, just throwing dimes like Patrick Mahomes. He's got, you know, it's not, he doesn't have a weak arm, but he thrives and he understands this um, by, you know, showing some anticipation and anticipating his receivers coming open to get the ball there uh, to make these accurate throws. And we're going to see that here. He's going to throw a little hook route um, to his left outside receiver. And as we watch this clip, the ball, you can't really see it here, but the ball is going to come out and look at, you know, be able to make a catch, turn up field for the, the, the run. But this is where it's going to show you uh, here. He's, he's going to drop back. And as he's making this throw, this ball is already start. He's already starting his throwing motion. This receiver has is just starting to make his break. So he's able to get this ball out before the receiver even turns. He's got to slow down a little bit, but that allows him to be able to make that throw, make that catch before this defender can close in. The defender had no shot at this ball uh, to break it up because Mesa Fine had that out. Before the receiver was making that break, the defensive backs watching the receiver, you know, he's got no shot. We see another example of that here. He's going to throw a little speed out to this receiver. It's third and six. They got the ball what on uh, just about the 39-yard line. So they need to get to about the 45 to get the first down. The, the cornerback's playing back. So as we see here, he drops back. That ball is, once again, he's starting to make this throw before this receiver. He's just starting to break down his route, his speed out. Okay, comes up. You know, the receiver should have had the catch. But once again, as we see here, he's making this throw before the receiver can. He's even making his break. The, the ball's where it needs to be. It hits him in the hands. Uh, should have been a first down. Ended up having to punt there. Okay, one more example of this we see here. And he makes this throw. This receiver once again, top receiver. And he's gonna before he even started sitting down on that out route. Easy first down. All right, another example of his anticipation. Um, you know, I just got done showing. Okay, he's he's making these throws before the receivers make their breaks. Here's another example of his anticipation skills, but in a different way. He's gonna throw kind of an an over the middle type route. And he's going to be able to kind of anticipate his receiver getting to a spot and be able to throw it in between defenders to make this completion. So it's third and 11. As he sits back here, okay, he sees this window. He sees this receiver. He knows he's going to be coming across the middle. Sees this linebacker, linebacker over here. And he's going to make this throw to this spot knowing that his receiver is going to be there. Okay, nice little first down throw. Another thing that really stands out about Mason Fine is his ability to throw with some touch. Um, he's going to end up making a touch throw here uh, to this receiver. Um, Linebacker is going to be kind of dropping back, uh, and he's going to be able to kind of put a little touch to get it over that linebacker and to his receiver. So as we see here, linebacker starting to come out. He's able to put a little enough under it where it gets over his hand and able to make that completion. So the big thing about him is he's got this ability to, you know, not a strong arm. He can zip it to his receivers, but he doesn't have a cannon. He doesn't got the arm like a Josh Allen or a Patrick Mahomes, but he's got the ability to know that, okay, I can get the ball to my receivers with this touch, with this anticipation. Uh, he also shows some good ball placement. As we see here, he's going to throw the ball for a touchdown to this receiver right here. 
And as we see this play unfold, hey, this receiver's going to run a double move that's going to leave the defensive back kind of, you know, grasping for air. Hey? And so once again, he knows this play's coming. Look where the ball is. He's starting to make his throw as he it completes that double move. And it may look like the ball is, you know, kind of off its mark because it's going to be thrown towards the sideline. You saw how the receiver had to kind of turn back and then reach up and get it. But what I like about this throw is no one else is going to be able to get that ball but this receiver. Okay? Say this this defensive back's able to make a, you know, he's got more speed and he's able to uh, kind of close the gap. This ball's still put where only this receiver is going to be able to go get it. Easy touchdown. Right, this last clip, what I want to show you is, you know, the thing about Mason Fine is he, he's a playmaker. He's, he can run around, he can move with his legs to extend the plays, but he's able to show that he can still win within the pocket. So as we see here, he's going to make a throw, kind of like on a hook, comeback type route. But as we see here, he's got to step up in the pocket. And the pass rush comes, this guy kind of is breaking free. He sees it coming, he's able to slide up in the pocket, shuffle his feet, and deliver the ball down the sideline. Let me kind of show you that without clicking it. Stop. Are able to kind of throw up, you know, throw a complete pass, but yet climb in the pocket and, and get himself in a position to do that. Um, I, I like Mason Fine quite a bit. Uh, he, as we speak right now, on what, June 6th, the summer, he, he's my third rated quarterback. Uh, I don't have a huge grade on him. It's not like I have a first round grade. I kind of I have a seven point two, which is kind of in that um, you know high third, late second round type of grade. Um, I kind of view him as a guy that's got starter traits, but he still needs some work. Um, you know, I kind of look at him as a high end backup, a guy that can come in and be a starter if need be. Uh, he's the reason why is he's got that anticipation skills. He's got the ability to recognize defenses, go through reads. That's a lot of the next level stuff that you see out of these college quarterbacks. The things that kind of worry me a little bit is he doesn't always have the most consistent accuracy. He can show good ball placement like I've shown you here, but too often on some of his downfield throws, it can be um, kind of off target and even some of those intermediate throws too the ball's not always where it needs to be so that's something I'm looking at as we go forward um, but he's shown a lot of growth in 2017 season yes he threw for 4,052 yards and 31 touchdowns but he also threw 15 interceptions last year in 2008 his his uh Yardage went down. He only threw for 3,793 yards and 27 touchdowns, but he cut back on his interceptions, only throwing five. So he's shown growth mentally to be able to uh, take care of the ball, which is always a good thing. Um, he's not got the biggest size, five foot 11, 187 pounds. Uh, he reminds me of play sawing a lot of Baker Mayfield. You see the number six. You see him being a little bit shorter of a quarterback. He kind of moves around in the pocket. Um, but, you know, he doesn't have some of those elite traits that a Baker Mayfield has. But, you know, he's already shown growth. I cannot wait to see him in 2019 to see the type of growth that he shows. You know, can he continue to increase his accuracy? He's throwing at 63% completion percentage over his, you know, three-year career. Can that number get higher? Can he continue to throw a lot of passes with a low number of interceptions? And can he th show a lot more consistency? So that's what I'm going to be looking at. I like him. I think he's got a lot of potential. I think he'd be a good day two pick as a quarterback, maybe someone you can kind of develop a little bit. But he's definitely going to be one of the most exciting quarterbacks in college football this next season. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure that you subscribe uh, to get all my videos. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter at draft underscore Brian. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.